This one is um, a more American etiquette rule, really. Labor Day generally isn't a thing anywhere else except in the US. And wearing white after Labor Day has long been considered a fashion faux pas. But where did this no white wearing rule actually come from? Well, you see, in the 1800s, high society women were in a subtle fashion battle with the nouveau riche. These were the new money, people who had become rich from business and trade. And those who came from old money wanted to separate themselves from the new money. And at that time, only the old money could really afford to escape the, the cities during warmer weather, especially New York and the bigger cities. The ultra-rich chose to wear white on holiday since it was cooler to wear. And eventually, white clothing became the look of leisure. Labor Day signified the end of the summer months, so that when the, the wealthy returned to the city, they traded in their loose, breezy white clothing for darker-hued suits and colours. And it was their way of showing off their new autumn wardrobe as well. Those who wanted to fit in with the elite caught on to this unwritten rule, and so the, the don't wear white after Labor Day rule was born. And if you wanted to climb the social ladder, you would wear what the rich were wearing, or, you know, in this case, what they weren't wearing. Now, as I said, it's an American etiquette rule, and today the, the don't wear white after Labor Day has fallen by the wayside for most people. But there are still people who insist on abiding by it, mainly the older generation, and somebody trying to prove a point White can, of course, be worn year-round, and is, in fact, in most Asian countries, the colour of mourning rather than black. Take a look at the Queen Mother's wardrobe in the 1930s when her mother died. She went into mourning, and she wore exclusively white mourning clothes designed by Norman Hartland, and they were amazing. So, white after Labour Day, a very American thing, doesn't impact you if you're in Europe, and if you're in America... Kind of an old-fashioned rule, doesn't really apply anymore.